The economic hardships were one of the main reasons for the 25th of January revolution, two and a half years later, and the economic situation is not any better. That is why interim president Adli Mansour had the economy in the forefront when naming candidates for the prime minister's post. Mohammed El Baradai, Kamel Ganzuri, and Hisham Ramiz are all with an economic background. The front runner, however, is Ziad Bahaeddin, former chairman of the Egyptian Investment Authority and director of the Egyptian Initiative for the Prevention of Corruption. He is a young man who is well respected in the business community in Egypt and abroad. His efforts for combating corruption has also gained approval from both the liberal and the Islamist forces, which is important to provide him with the political support in his mission. The interim prime minister has a tough job ahead with an acute economic crisis gripping the country. The same problems continue. A huge budget deficit, growing public debt and dwindling foreign currency reserves. He has to quickly attack these issues and work on attracting foreign investments by forming a homogeneous cabinet that puts a collective plan for the economy. This was missing in previous governments. Hours before officially announcing the new prime minister, the country was rocked with violent clashes at the Republican Guard's headquarters, an incident that has been met with a huge drop in the stock market and the economy as a whole. Ziad Bahaeddin is a successful economist, but to be a successful prime minister, analysts say he needs the support of political forces and a stable environment, something hard to come by these days. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.